Hi, it's Rich from Planet P and it's Thursday, which means video day. So there's been quite a few requests on Twitter and on YouTube, and I'm slowly trying to work my way through those. So today, we're gonna have a look at lung volumes. So a subject quite close to the uh, cardio uh, respiratory system, but mainly about the respiratory. So let's have a look at those different volumes today. So let's have a look at those four different volumes, okay? And particularly what their names are. So the first one we've got is our tidal volume. We've then got our inspiratory reserve volume, our expiratory reserve volume, and then our residual volume. So let's have a look at what each of them are and maybe the effects that exercise might have on those different lung volumes. So let's have a look at tidal volume first. So you might have heard tidal, thinking about the sea, how the sea might go in and go out. And that's the easiest way to remember it. So with tidal volume, it's the amount of air that we breathe in and out in each normal breath. So it's not necessarily a forceful breath, it's just a normal sort of breath that you're not necessarily that conscious about. Now where you're gonna see these different um, volumes in an exam is what we call a spirometry trace, and it will look something like that-ish. Okay, so we've got our tidal volume. So we're breathing in, we're breathing out, we're breathing in, and we're breathing out. So that is our normal breath in and out. Now, in exercise, that might change. So if I was to exercise, I would breathe in more, I would breathe out more. So my tidal volume might actually increase, so I'd end up with a slightly larger wiggly line. And that then brings us on to the different volumes. So we've got our inspiratory reserve volume, which you might see as IRV, and you can say that in your exam, by the way. And you've also got your expiratory reserve volume, which we might call ERV. So what they are, is that they are the amount of air we can forcefully inhale in addition to tidal volume. So you think about all that extra that we've got ahead of it. So if I take a big forceful deep breath in, it's all that point. So when you see the line going up, we're breathing in. When we see the line going down, we're breathing out. So think about this, we've got our tidal volume, breathing in and out normally, and then a big deep breath in, a big forceful deep breath out. <sighs> so expiratory reserve volume is the amount of air we can forcefully exhale in addition to tidal volume. Okay, so we've got IRV, your inspiratory reserve volume, your expiratory reserve volume is the line that goes down and it's called ERV. We've then got the residual volume. So our residual volume never changes. So your lungs are really, really sticky. They've got lots of mucus, things like that. So if they don't have the air in, they're gonna to stick together and it's gonna make breathing incredibly difficult. So we've always got a little bit of air left over. So you might have a birthday party and there's an old balloon that everybody's forgotten about. Somehow that always keeps a little bit of air in it. Your lungs are the same, that we can't actually breathe out all of the air from our lungs. There's always a little bit left over, okay? And that's what we call the residual volume. So when we look at this, we breathe out as heavily as we can, but there's still a little bit of air left over. And there's normally about one and a half liters of residual volume left over. Now, if you're doing BTEC, that's exactly the same. So those figures are exactly the same in BTEC, in GSEC, or even indeed at A-level PE. So if you're watching it from different anatomy parts, this video still works for you. So they are our lung volumes. That is all you need to know. Now, what you, what you need to know in addition to the volumes is the effect that exercise has on those. So quite simply, if I'm exercising, my IRV is gonna be smaller because tidal volume increases, and my ERV is gonna be smaller because of the tidal volume increase, because remember, it's the additional air on top of tidal volume. Now your residual volume never changes. There is always one and a half liters, okay? So if you ever get a question, it might be a multiple choice thing, residual volume never changes. If you get fitter, your inspiratory reserve volume might increase, but obviously it's always dependent on what's going on with tidal volume because it's the additional amount. So that is the lung volume done. Quite simply, nice quick video there. So again, if you are new to the channel, please, please subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. Thursday's normally my upload day. So please like and subscribe, check us out on Twitter, and also I'm gonna try, we'll see how it goes, try and get some things out on Instagram so they're quite quick, short, rapid ones, and then try and bring the links into here. So please tell your friends if you watch, because again, I like subscribers, it'd be quite nice to get more and more. Thanks for watching.